to prepare for Marine Corps service, the AV-8B underwent standard evaluation. In the operational evaluation, which took place from August 31, 1984 to March 30, 1985, Four pilots and a group of maintenance and support personnel put the aircraft in combat type condition. These aircraft are assessed based on their ability to meet mission requirements. That is to navigate, acquire targets, deliver weapons, and evade and defend against enemy attacks, all at a specified range and payload performance. The first phase of operational evaluation, which lasted until February 1, 1985, required the AV-8B to fly close air support missions along with other close air support aircraft, as well as a ban on flying battlefields and armed reconnaissance missions. The second phase, which took place at MCAS Yuma from 25 February to 8 of March, required the AV-8BS to conduct fighter escort, combat air patrol, and deck-launched intercept missions. Although the evaluation identified several remaining deficiencies in the design that were later corrected, the evaluation was deemed successful. The AV-8B Harrier II achieved initial operating capability IOC, in January 1985 with Marine Corps Squadron VMA-331. The AV-8B saw extensive action in the Gulf War of 1990-91. Aircraft based on USS Nassau and USS Darawa, and at land bases, conduct training and support strikes, as well as train with coalition forces. The AV-8BS will be held in reserve during the initial preparatory air assault phase of Operation Desert Storm. The McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing, AV-8B Harrier II is a single-engine ground attack aircraft that is the second generation of the Harrier family, capable of vertical or short takeoff and landing v -stall. The aircraft is primarily used in light attack or multi-role missions, ranging from close air support of ground troops to armed reconnaissance. The AV-8B is used by the United States Marine Corps, USMC, the Spanish Navy, and the Italian Navy. A variant of the AV-8B, the British Aerospace Harrier II, was developed for the British military, while another, the Top 8 b was a dedicated two-seat. The project that ultimately led to the creation of the AV-8B began in the early 1970s as a cooperative effort of the United States and the United Kingdom, to overcome operational deficiencies of the first-generation Hawker Siddeley Harrier. Initial efforts focused on a larger and more powerful Pegasus engine to significantly increase the Harrier's capabilities. Due to budget constraints, the British abandoned the project in 1975. After the British withdrawal, McDonnell Douglas extensively redesigned the AV-8A Harrier to create the AV-8B. 